So we'll complete our SOLIDWORKS plastics uninstallation. And so everything else is good to go. Again, the SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM product, you can you can leave it as is. It's, be it's best to leave it on because you don't re remove any of your admin functionality. So we're good there. The next step on the list is to go ahead and delete any folders that are on the system. So most most notably in the C drive, if you go to the sol to the program files directory, you would find here you can see there are still SOLIDWORKS folders. There is the enterprise folder. There is the plastics folder. Uh, I will simply come in here and just delete the top level of the plastics directory. You notice that the SOLIDWORKS folder is gone. So the SOLIDWORKS in the installation manager did remove that properly. Back at the root of the C, most people have a SOLIDWORKS data folder where um, where their their toolbox information is stored. Again, that has been removed here as well. So we're done as far as removing any uh, any folders with legacy data there. Now, in my case, I have my my reference documents elsewhere. I have my my templates and my weldment profiles in a different location, and we'll point that to we'll point SOLIDWORKS to that later. The next step is to clean the registry. Simply type in R E G E D I T reg edit here in this uh, this search box, and you'll see there's this reg edit tool. You'll have to grant the system permission to to view to access that uh, program. You'll have to run it as administrator, basically. Once the editor is open, expand the H key current user folder, then software. We want to verify that the uninstall process removed all the unnecessary registry keys. Expand SOLIDWORKS. You should only see one folder called PDMWorks Enterprise. Again, only if you have PDMWorks Enterprise installed. If you don't, don't worry about this folder. Below that folder, you'll find SRAC. That's a folder related to the SOLIDWORKS installation. You can right click and delete that. This will make our next installation of SOLIDWORKS go smoothly. Then expand the subfolder called HKey Local Machine. Then Software once again, and then finally a last folder called Wow 64.32 Node. Once again, we want to verify that under SOLIDWORKS, there's only one, uh, only a few folders. We also want to take this opportunity to remove any uh, activation information related to our flow simulation. You can right-click the top folder called SOLIDWORKS Corporation and delete. Again, the SOLIDWORKS folder only has two folder, uh, entries under here called uh, add-ins and applications, and those are related to our Enter PDMWorks Enterprise installation. If you don't have Enterprise, again, don't worry about this. You can also use this opportunity again to remove the other SRAC folder that exists under this HKey local machine. Right-click and delete that. Now, again, SOLIDWORKS does a really good job nowadays of removing all these entries automatically, so our process was really simple this time. If you have any questions here, you can always ask us, and we'll, we'll make sure to clarify. You can now close the registry editor and use this opportunity to reboot the system and then run any Windows updates. So we'll reboot the system and then we'll continue this process. Now that our system's rebooted, I'm going to take the opportunity to do some system maintenance on our computer. First thing I'm doing is going to NVIDIA's website, and this is assuming you have an NVIDIA Quadro card. If you have a SOLIDBOX, you have an NVIDIA card. So I went to NVIDIA.com and navigate to the under drivers, go to all NVIDIA drivers. Use the first pull-down menu to specify Quadro. In most cases, you'll be working with either a Quadro or a Quadro series for uh, notebooks. In my case, I have a Quadro series. In my case, it's a Quadro 5000. And now, we want to be very sp specific on what driver we're looking for here. Now, you want to con consult your SOLIDBOX representative to make sure you're looking at the right kind of driver. But in most cases, you can go straight to the Quadro performance driver. In almost every case, it'll be Windows 7 64-bit. After you hit search, the search will isolate the right driver package. In our case, ours was released on the 5th of, of October. It's driver package 306.79. Now at SOLIDBOX, we've actually tested this driver, and it's good to go. We'll download that, and you agree, and that will save onto your hard drive. It takes a little while to download that. So I'm going to move to the next thing and download the proper uh, driver package for for our three, my, three, my, my 3D Connection Space Pilot Pro. So once I'm on this page, I'll go to Service. I'll go to Download Drivers. And I'll just choose my product here. In my case, it's a Space Pilot Pro working on Windows 7 64-bit. And I'll do a search. And you'll see here down, down below there's a... Uh, link to download the driver. 
this was released back in um, back in July and uh, hasn't changed since then I probably still have that same driver but I'm downloading it again that take a while to download it's 150 megabytes and finally what I'll do is some basic system updates for my Dell T7500 in my case I'm using a BIOS version A0, A09 if you have any doubts here don't hesitate to contact us we'll, we'll send you this, the, the direct download link you can see here is a BIOS category and now it's we're currently on A14 this is recommended so I recommend that you go ahead and download the Windows slash DOS version here and this is simply an executable that you can run within Windows and we'll show you how to do that as well so I'll do a single file download I'll continue that and it's only a few megabytes so that that'll be pretty quickly that will install or download pretty quickly all right so everything's downloaded and what we'll do is we'll simply right click on one of these and we'll uh, show in the folder it's just a quick way to to expose the, those downloads in our Windows Explorer now there's a I'm very particular about the order that I'll do these um, both the um, the BIOS update and the the video card update will require a reboot okay so before I do those I'm gonna take the opportunity to go to uh, our Windows update tool and make sure that any Windows updates are on the system before we install our next version of SolidWorks. Easiest way to do that is just type in win up like that. Just or you could type Windows Update the, the the full thing. Either way, you'll find the Windows Update tool under your program list. Now, in my case, I'll check for updates. And what I'm looking for specifically here are any updates to Windows.net. .net is the infrastructure on which SolidWorks operates dotnet is a whole programming language or programming infrastructure that allows SOLIDWORKS to do all its magic so in my case there are no important updates um, but there's some optional updates in my case there are updates to the Windows my, my uh, Windows Microsoft Security Essentials uh, antivirus program and some other stuff there's an Nvidia update as well but I'm not going to install that that's something I downloaded just a second ago uh, manually okay but for the most part, I don't have to do anything updates in my case. In your case, there might be a long list of important updates. You want to install those before you uh, knock out these other system maintenance items.